Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today the new American Quarter Horses have gotten added to the game and I have been really excited for these horses because from what I've seen they're really well made and they also have really cute coats. So three of them came out today. It was the black with the piebald or something like that, um, the bay, the palomino, and also the red roan. I have no idea which one I'm getting because they're so cute and someone just has the palomino over there. I'm gonna try not to look, um, but yeah. Uh, let's go ahead over to um, Starshine Ranch. I don't even know why I ended up here. I think it was because I'm doing- oh yikes. I think it was because I was doing my like yarless and reputation because I really want like the saddle there and I've been doing it every single day and I still have like a thousand more XP to go and I'm just so frustrated. Okay, we are here. Oh, I- I- oh, it's so glitchy in Starshine Ranch. What? Who? <laughs> okay, there's so many people with the new horses and they look so cute. Oh, I didn't even really check. I just kind of assumed they were here. Um, I think the Palomino one's in Fort Pinta. So this is the Black Piebalds and literally everyone loves this horse so much and I like it too. It's actually really adorable, but I have so many black horses. Yeah, I definitely want like a different color. Um, I like this one a lot. Um, it's, it's really cute. Like I saw this one in the trailer and I just kind of really liked it, but the thing is I'm I'm d trying to decide between like two horses, um, but I gotta see them in person before I tell you which ones, but this is one of them. Um, this is the Red Roan, which is cute, like, I don't- I don't know if this is the name, the Red Roan. It's hard to see the horse in these little stalls, but yeah, look how cute he is. He's so adorable. I don't want this one though, because I feel like I would have a really hard time making cute outfits on it, but it is super cute. Um, let me go ahead and find the Palomino before we decide which one we want to buy. This one is the Palomino, and I just, I have a little connection with this Palomino. I don't even know why, like, it, it has, like, purple tints on its coat, and I was telling all my friends, I was like, I love the Palomino, and they're like, the Palomino is, like, my worst favorite one. But for some reason, I just really like it, and so I'm kind of deciding between this one and the bay. The thing is, Star Stable have not been making very good Palominos. Like, I'm not complaining. They're just not the color necessarily I want them to be. Like, I love the Norse Swedish that I have. I, I wish they were all that color, but this one, like, I don't even know why. I feel like it would look super cute in, like, pinks. Um, So I think I want to get this one. I already have a nickname planned out. I think I want to name it Melody. She is so cute. I wish I could see her face more, but she is hiding in the fence because her head is so low but let's see if there's like a i think melody might be a, a last name on here i do not know wait isn't there like a princess melody i'm just hold up let me look this up because i feel like there's a princess melody i'm sorry it's early my voice sounds like a man oh my gosh princess melody is is ariel is ariel's daughter okay i'm probably gonna do princess melody because like that's a thing where is princess Mm, no, there's not a princess melody, I don't think. I feel like that is unreasonable because they have it as a last name. I think I just want to call her Melody Princess because, you know, I'm just going to still call her Princess Melody because she is Ariel's daughter. <laughs> um, but yeah, they should really put princess as a first name because I'm really upset about that. Okay, so welcome to the family, Melody. So I forgot to say that these horses are like 950 star coins, but that's only because they have like some special gates and like hairdos and stuff. So I'm excited to check those out. My voice is dying. Do you hear this? Also, I'm like in a big room in the middle of nowhere in my house. So I'm just like talking a little bit quieter because I'm scared that everyone's going to overhear me like obsessing over this horse. <laughs> okay, let's pretend my stable isn't this unorganized. Um... Who should we place? I think we should- okay, she looks funny. She looks like a Cheeto puff. Okay, um, who should we replace? I was training Silver Dream because I have this thing where I want to get all my horses to level 10. And once they're all level 10, I'm gonna, like, train them all to level 11 and so they can all, like, get maxed together. Um, so yeah, I was training this one, but I'm gonna replace him for now. Okay, so we're here with Melody. 
she's so pretty see this is the horse that no one liked and i'm getting her first impressions no i'm kidding i'm gonna just like walk out of my stable actually i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get a little outfit i'm sorry if my inventory is really ugly okay look at how big those saddle pads are holy cannoli i don't exactly like that um I'm probably going to put her in English tag. I'm sorry for all those people who are telling everybody that this horse is, is just Western. So this is the outfit I'm going to put on Melody. I think it looks really cute. I mean, she does have some purple undertones, so I think purple is a good color to put on her. I saw that there was new main styles, so we're going to go check that out right now. See, I'm not a huge, huge fan of her color. Like, look at- she kind of looks a little bit too neon orange for me. Which is kind of why I kind of wanted the bay too, but I, I, you never know. I might get the bay also if the next colors of the um, quarter horse end up not being the ones I want. Her color is not bad enough that I wouldn't buy it because I just, I really wanted the Malamino of the um, quarter horses. I just wish Star Stable like did a better job on the Palominos because I just I'm not a huge fan of most of the ones they put out, but I couldn't resist this one. Let's check out these main styles. So we have the normal, the braids. It's kind of hard to see because their head is so low. We have that one. We have the long hair, and then we have this, which is the custom hair for this horse. Okay, I feel like I just want to keep this one because I am unsure which one I want to get. Um, so let's go somewhere where we can check out the gates. I feel like I was originally thinking we should go to Starshine Ranch, but it's so glitchy there. Like, I feel like it's the glitchiest place on Star Stable because so many people like it so much. I feel like we should just do it over here. Okay, I'm going to do her gates here. It's kind of hard to see because there's grass, so I hope that's not a big deal. Um, so this is her walk. I think it's cute like I mean they they have their heads really low so I'm not like used to it because none of the other horses do this but it is unique to the breed because you know in raining and stuff they do have their head really low so I'm not complaining I just like I'm so used to English horses having their head like high so I like the walk I don't like how we move in this saddle we look like we're just floating and the horse is moving all around us I wish we like, you know, moved a little bit in the saddle. We look like a little statue sitting on a horse. Um, <laughs> let's go to the trot. Okay, we're moving in the trot, which is good. Yeah, I mean, the horse seems stretched out. Like, why is, like, I get they have like a big back end, but I don't know if it's that big. Look, it looks like they have a watermelon in the back, like a huge watermelon, like a maybe a, maybe it's a pumpkin, like a big pumpkin in its back um you know and a little watermelons here like i don't i mean i'm not it's not bad it's just like i find that a little bit weird okay canter i like the canter i think it's cute his tail makes him happy like maybe his tail is a little bit too far down his back i don't know maybe that's just me but yeah i think he looks good this is a good gate for me i think it's really cute okay his hair is flapping so much Okay, this is the slow gallop, which is, is pretty good too. Like, I, I like it. I think it looks really adorable. And then the fast gallop. Um, okay, I think they fixed a little bit from the trailer because I like it better. In the trailer, it looks a little bit funny, but I like it now that I see it like in-game. So that looks good. Let's try the backup. Okay, I really, I really like the backup. It looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay. The backup is so adorable. Um, let's see what's next. Let's try the rear. Oh, see, this is the horse that reared in the trailer. And after I saw it rear, I was like, it looks so cute. Oh, look at its back. Oh, yikes. See, I feel like its back is maybe too big, but I think it looks just so cute. So yeah, this horse is really cute in its rear. I'm not, it looks adorable. Okay, let's try its um, X stop. It looks cute, I like it. Um, let's try it from the front on. 
<laughs> I love that its legs go wide. It's so cute. Okay, I love that part. Um, let's go see the jump, and then we're gonna finish with like the special move. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, he looks like a little whale. <laughs> it's funny because as a western horse, you don't really expect them to get into like a good jumping position. But he gets into a pretty good jumping position. Like, look at him. Her, my bad. It's Melody Princess, who's a girl, clearly. But yeah, look at her face is actually so cute. Look at this. I love the little marking on her head. It's too cute. But yeah, she does get into a good jumping position. So I'm pretty happy about that. Um, now let's go ahead and see the move we've all been waiting for. I don't know how we're supposed to do it. Okay, you just press space and you spin around. It's a little blender. Okay, I'm going to back up my settings a little bit so I can actually see the horse a little bit better. I wish we could go both ways. That would be really cool, but I do like the move a lot. It looks really good. Like, I'm super happy. Our character looks a little bit funny just sitting there. But yeah, this horse looks really, really adorable. I'm so happy about that. I'm actually going to go over to Starshine Ranch to take these pictures because the race I want to do is I want to try all the western races with this horse because I don't know like this this horse is meant for those races so we kind of have to do them with her. I don't know if we're going to be able to do one race but I kind of want to do both the pole bending and barrel racing because I mean this horse is kind of you know supposed to do this i actually struggled a lot when the update came out and i was doing these races i actually recorded it but ended up not uploading it because it just wasn't a super interesting update but yeah i struggled so much doing these races yeah i could not pull ben for the life of me i knocked down literally every single pole yay okay she's level two okay there's someone on their horse you know we love seeing gymnastics people every single time. Hey, is it a chicken? Hi. Oh, is there someone else over here? Let's see. It is the cow. Hold up. I'm curious. People say the cow is so hard to guide and I do not know why it's so hard because I literally am guiding it right now. But people were complaining about this cow so much, but all you have to do is go behind it and it goes the opposite direction as you. Maybe they fixed it, but it it was like super easy last time I tried it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm so happy with the new breed and I'm so happy we added Melody to our family. She's so adorable. Make sure to let me know which horse you bought in the comments if you did buy one and definitely what its nickname is. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys!